Hello everyone, my name is Karen. Welcome back to your regularly scheduled nonsense where today we're back with some more Pacific Drive. We're picking up where we left off in the last episode. We are continuing the run, trying to get the trophy for having nothing on our car. Or not having nothing on our car, sorry. For um, making it through a four-junction run without losing anything off of our car or removing any of our car parts. We almost had this the first time we attempted this trophy. Unfortunately, one of my tires disintegrated off of my my car right as we were in the last junction right as we were about to make it out um of the gateway is this what i'm missing are you guys what i'm missing nope nope fuck you guys okay so these are broken bunnies i don't need these assholes off or on my car anymore can, can you get off the fuck off my car, please. This got hit by my own car because of that fucking thing. Which, funnily enough, was like the first trophy I got in this game. Uh, was for literally getting hit by my own car, basically. I didn't even know it was a trophy. Happened to get hit by my own car and, during my first run because I forgot to put it in park. And yeah, so now we're here. Uh, 34, almost 35 trophies in of the 50 that are in this game. And uh, hopefully, hopefully about 335. God damn it, ow, 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 ow. That hurt, that that really fucking hurt. Um, didn't do too much damage to my car, thankfully, which is what really kind of terrified me, was my car being destroyed from that. Uh, there's tourists, I'm gonna try to avoid hitting them because they do explode, if I remember correctly. The regular ones explode, I believe. Um, now we just need to make it out of here. Again, I am missing some anomaly from here. But I can't really focus on trying to see what it is then, right now. Because um, <laughs> if I focus on what it is, I'm probably not going to uh, get out of here in time. So. Okay. So now we're going to go up to F1. I don't want to go up to F1. It's a dangerous spot to go to. Hey, Daddy, you look so cute. Uh, it's a dangerous spot to go to, but we, we obviously have to go there, whether we really want to or not. Um, obviously, as I went through this game from uh, the start, I didn't really focus on things I should have been focusing on. I wasn't focusing on preparing myself for trophies the way I should have been. I wasn't scanning everything I could. I wasn't trying to... Excuse me. I wasn't trying to uh, get a majority of the uh, materials needed going forward, so... That was my own mistake. We're gonna eat, we're we're gonna bum rush this one. Um, I want to avoid. If I can, I want to avoid getting caught by too much in this in this zone, especially because this one's gonna be an extra dangerous one. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, get this anchor if I can. Oh, there's an abductor and a fucking gust thing. Damn it. Um, we're gonna go up, get this anchor if I can, and then. Uh, continue on into the next, into the next and final zone. Actually, I believe should, it should be. Um, we might get caught out in this raid, in this rad storm here in a minute. Though is the only issue I'm, I'm foreseeing, which I don't really like the thought of. But, um, oh fuck, how am I gonna get around this? I'm gonna have to go down the fucking mountain a little bit, aren't I? Come on, there we go. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Of course, it's right by the anchor, too. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit further ahead. Gonna jump out. Run to the anchor. I've never touched one of those, and I never want to touch one of those. Grab the anchor. Oh, God. Put the anchor in the car. Get in the car. Put the car in drive and keep moving. Ow. We are on 34% health. I need to stop for a med kit or something, but I really fucking can't. Mostly because of that bullshit. If there wasn't a rad storm moving its way in right now, I would definitely stop and get something to deal with. 
Ow. Luckily, I'm I'm getting good enough at this game where I know exactly what needs to be avoided as I go. To um, keep from dying too easily. I saw that coming. I'm so glad I got here when I did. Because this is what happened to us when we did this the last time. When we attempted this trophy the last time, this same thing happened to us on the third run. Um, the third junction, we literally had the same thing happen. Um, where we just immediately got in and... Or we were in the third zone. I said I was going to try to look around for supplies as we were in that zone. And then as we were driving through it, like just at the start, I heard... Bruh, bruh, the little like air raid siren telling me that the the zone's about to becoming unstable and about to close my tv just turned off because i hit my plug a little bit oops this tv's or this uh plug thing i have it set up into is really fucking finicky and annoying and my tv does not want to turn back on for some fucking reason because it's a oh broken mess dude turn the fuck on you stupid fucking tv I can't do anything because I literally can't fucking see right now. Dap me up. Dap me up. Yeah, my cat just dapped me up, bro. That was cool as fuck. Okay, so... We have issues with the car that need to be fixed right now. I have issues with my health that need to be fixed right now. Do I have... Oh, I love this game. Okay, so I just need a ceiling kit for that one. Can I make a ceiling kit is the question. I don't actually know. Granted, we're really close to what we need to get to, so I'm hoping that I can get one of the really close gateways marked really quick and just get the fuck out of here. So... Let's just link this gateway. Put it in drive and get driving. We don't have very far to drive, thankfully, which is the nice thing. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get going and get the fuck out of here. Again, I know it sucks because there's literally a fucking anomaly here that I haven't scanned, but I'm trying to get this done as quickly and efficiently and safely as possible. So that just means getting the fuck out of here as quick as we can. This should pop the trophy though, because we haven't lost anything, we haven't removed anything, and. Uh, Honestly, that's really surprised me. I was really expecting to, to lose something on the car at some point during this. And... Voila! It would take a miracle. Complete a run with at least four junctions without breaking or removing any car parts. It does take a miracle because you have to get very fucking lucky to not have anything hit your car in a way that's going to just immediately insta-destroy your shit. Because that's what happened to me one of the other times I was trying for this run. Where we tried for it and we had some... Um, we had something take the car off of my... Or take part of my car away from me. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like the thing that... The, the anomaly that steals shit off your car stole a piece of my car as we were trying to leave. And it really fucked me over because it does count as a... You've lost this part of your car. Have fun sucking fucking dick for the next 10 minutes because you just lost your fucking tr uh, uh, chance at this trophy. I was not a very happy camper that day. So, can I make the limb thingy now? I still need a circuit board, and I still need electronics for the circuit board. Son of a bitch. Okay, on the bright side, we, we were able to make it, so I'm happy. Can I fill this up right here? Oh, I can. That's awesome. So there we go. We we made it through um, another section, another run. I'm going to leave that where it's at, actually, now that I think about it. Um, I don't know if that goes to my full fuel, but there is also a trophy for completing a run with at least two junctions and with the car always having a low or empty fuel tank. Now, I don't know if this means a main fuel tank or what happens but as the description states 
you need to complete a run of two plus junctions with the low fuel warning on. This means that you can't go above 25% of your total fuel capacity, which will actually be quite a lot more fuel. Okay, so where am I currently at on my fuel? Not at a low fuel warning. Where is my fuel warning one even show up at? Sorry, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out right now is where that warning shows up. I think it's on the dash. So we need to run our fuel out a little bit. Also, where am I sitting at on the tree thing? The tree one I'm at... 590 of a thousand. I still have 410 more trees to destroy. Gosh, damn. All right, and then the other one is for fully charged battery from under 50% using only natural sources. So we're not going to charge our battery here. Um, I don't want to, personally speaking. I want to leave it nearly dead. Pretty much. Um, or as dead as I can keep it, I guess, right now. Um, let's put our doors on. Let's get, let's get our car parts and stuff back on. Nope, not what I need. That's what I meant to do. Install that one. Uh, grab that. We're going to put that back on there for obvious reasons, because that is actually how we um, get our battery up to 50%. panel we're gonna replace this tire right yeah, this tire I'm just gonna go throw that in there because that's what I always do uh, we got parts in here that are being done we're not gonna actually take out that one because if we take that one out it's not gonna do us any good because it's already almost destroyed any or it's basically useless at this point anyway so this correspondence we pull some of those roots tug them up there's a tree the trees are growing into the ground dot root root what the fuck okay this game's weird man uh let's destroy that god damn it okay we need to grab my other plasma scrapper that we have inside of here you you don't want the jump jacks do you want that obviously we want as much of our storage as we can get back into our onto our car insulate the panel back on or insulate the door back on but now the nice part about this is that we are officially to a point where we don't need to really do runs without anything in our, on our car anymore until we go to do the death one which i'm not going to do this time uh i'll probably do that next time i'll go for that one um i do want to try to get to a point where we can craft this limb shield though so i'm going to try to keep um what i might do is i might just off camera do a couple run run arounds uh, in this area and then go do that. I probably should have just not. Wait, what am I what am I saying? I can literally just take my fucking backseat tank out and put it away, can I? I can literally just put this in here and then it'll drop my tank to 25%, won't it? Oh, it didn't drop it as much as I thought it was going to, though. Damn. Well, that's kind of annoying. I was hoping it'd drop it a little bit more than what it dropped it. I was trying to click that button, actually, game. Uh, okay. Just put whatever I can away. Put whatever I can away. We're, we're severely, like, lacking on um, ability to put shit away, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm going to need to do some upgraded... Um, Uh, some upgraded... Oh, shit. I actually want to have that out because we want to go put that where uh, we need to to destroy, destroy it or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to... Nope. I already got that one done. That one's done. That one's done. One. Two. Three. What the fuck? 
fuck? One, two. Wait, hold up. That one's not painted. Genuinely serious, that's how I knew that one was wrong, was because it was not painted. The only reason I knew that that was not the right panel to put on that car. Okay, I believe that's the last door we need to put on. Now we just need our bumpers back, which are both in here, funnily enough. I didn't actually realize I put them both in there, but that's pretty fun. so that's pretty funny to me. Oh yeah, and we obviously need our new tire. Should probably re should probably get that done before I forget again. Uh we're actually gonna go Actually gonna go for the puncture ones, the puncture proof tires. We're gonna start putting those on for now. Um so we're gonna take all of our tires off before I forget. Cause I would like to put new tires on and not have to worry nearly as much about them going flat and things along those lines. Okay, one more. Now we just need three more puncture proof tires, which I can make three more, sweet. That was a lot of shit that just went into my, into my inventory right there. Uh, let's also get rid of that really quick before I forget. If that is what you do with those, you just throw them into the into the trash like that, and that's you call it a day. Pick that up. That's four new tires. They look like shit though, I'm not gonna lie. Probably should have just used the all-terrain tires, but and the issue with those is uh, I can actually only make one of them. So uh, I'm unfortunately not able to make any more as of right now, at least. Um, I'm going to need a lot more, a lot more materials before I can make uh, any of those. Don't tell me that's a bull. Holy fuck. We filled that whole fucking thing. Are you shitting me, dude? That's fucking crazy. I was not expecting to fill that at all, like, anytime soon. Wow. Um, can I throw these into here? Okay, I can throw them into just regular storage if, if need be. That's good to know. Um, let's talk to the dumpster. So, I'm just still missing the... What is it? Two electronics to make the last circuit board I need for this, right? Okay. Okay, some repair putty, thank you. That's always nice to have. Um, as is food. Food is also always very nice to have. Can you give me like anything else, my friend? Another repair putty, okay. Okay, some copper wire. Okay, some more repair putty, okay. How about some like electronics, my dude? No? No? Okay. Well, fuck. It's not very good that I didn't get any electronics from that, because uh, we are going to severely need those very soon. Um, what else can I potentially... So we have a junction restabilizer. This device will allow you to use a scanner charge to send a mod... Damn it. A modified signal to a junction, scrambling it. Does that mean that I can then go back and do a junction again? I unplugged my phone somehow. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Does that mean I can go back and do a junction again, if need be? That's kind of interesting. Uh, can we get any more lockers? We can get expanded lockers. <sighs> Some more of those. I don't know if I want to get those right now, though. I probably should, now that I think about it, but... <laughs> One, two... So two of these require... Three of these require stable energy still. Okay. We can get... Back seat tank again. 
don't know why I need another backseat tank. I've already done the backseat tank once. Why is it telling me to do it again? Oh, it's because I don't have it. I don't have it in right now. That's why. Okay, that's that's probably why. Now that I think about it, is that I don't have it currently sitting in. Um, let's get the. Oh. I need a spike log. Oh, I don't know what a spike log is. Okay, we'll we'll just go with the expanded locker. Mostly because I kind of need more storage space anyway, so. Probably not a bad idea to just say fuck it and throw another one in. Especially because this is full now, so. We're gonna we're gonna need the space to put shit away as we go. Um can I do anything else? No. Okay. And yeah, the next one's requiring unstable energy. So, so what I'm thinking, so so let's look through this. So E4 has nothing but question marks, but I can click E4 again and go straight there. So is there, I really should look at this game, at how this shit works a little bit, because it always confuses me. Look at this though, everything's question marked. Why is everything question marked all of a sudden? What the fuck, why is everything question marked? I've been to 90% of these places already. Why is it all a question mark? I don't understand. Weird, man. Um, obviously, there's more. I don't know if there's actually more up this way. I think this might be the last of it. What I'm what I'm seeing here, for the most part, is is probably the end of what I can get in the mid zone area. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that'd be five junctions. I like I said, I only need to do the uh, two junction run. So at some point, it looks like these do reopen which is interesting to find out I didn't actually know that that was a thing I also apparently have three scanner charges dude what the fuck oh I see okay so if I used one it'd be one two three okay i think that i think that's what it means is that's how many scanner charges it would take to get to these places i'm assuming i could be wrong but so why is everything question marked again because i have most of these zones re researched already weird okay um can i make any more armor no doesn't look like it okay that's that's kind of upsetting probably not be a bad thing to do um let's go look through my my materials again because i don't think i saw it so we have the olympia the olympium torch which is just a better way to repair shit um and then we have the magmatic hammer, which are the or magnetic hammer, which are the last two things I need to research in the survival tool section. Garage wise, we have one, two, three, four more pneumatic lockers. Sorry, four pneumatic lockers, three more parts lockers, two or a rapid refill pump and an experimental charging station, the advanced antenna and the incident board, the junction restabilizer and the bypass, which this advanced navigational assistant will keep you on the most direct route, allowing you to bypass junctions along highways. Nice. Uh, a repair station, a Deco vend and the fish tank uh, in the garage section. The refine section, I just need to unlock the limb chip, which unfortunately costs one corrupted energy, which I haven't gotten yet. Um, we already went to that one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more in the light section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 in the car body section. Two inside of the wheel, one which requires unstable energy and one which requires corrupted energy, which means we can't do that just yet. This also kind of sucks look, uh, looks wise. We have nothing in the, the expansion rack spot. We have all of that done officially. We have one more trunk storage one to do. A true triumph of trunk technology. The back of this automobile could now comfortably contain an entire British town, all its occupants and their accents. That's pretty funny. Uh, we have three more tanks to do obviously we already have this one i don't know if it's going to make me actually re-look at this or relearn this when i when i do get it i do believe i already have it uh as long as it's in it should be fine we have the plasma charger uh the solar panel and then these four to do before we're done with uh all of the car battery stuff 
Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more um, inside of the utility section, which is how we actually get the better crafting. So I'm going to actually get unstable energy the next run because we're going to need that. Using broad spectrum limb wave analysis, it's supposed to dump all this energy rescue and recounts to you at the moment of greatest peril. Theory, like you'll still be in one face dare you to feel it. Um, solely so we can actually get uh, the ability to create shit there without any issues. Huh. Interesting. Um, and then obviously we have the last two engines. Did I just say a nitro boost? That's awesome. Um, so next time. Where the fuck's my way? Here we go. Next time, we will um, probably be focusing on just going and getting electronics. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look through the trophies and figure out what uh, what I want to do for the run. I haven't fully decided yet what the next run will be um, and what we'll be focusing on. Uh, obviously, I do want to start focusing. Like I, like I said, I do obviously want to focus on trophies as we go. How many? I have eight fucking quirks right now. Jesus fuck, bro. Um, I do want to focus on the trophies a little bit as we go as well. Besides just, you know, focusing on the... The base shit of finishing the game um not that that's not important to me but at the same time uh, i do have other things to focus on in the game as well try to finish everything up but hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you all in the next one stay golden peace